And joining me now, former U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Justin Gurleaf. He was Bo Bergdahl's squad leader. Uh, Justin, thank you so much for joining us. What was your impression of, of Bo Bergdahl before he disappeared from the observation post that night? Uh, as a soldier, when he first got to us, he was, um, he was a good soldier. He listened to what we needed to do, and he got done what he was asked to do. Uh, he was willing to train and always asked a lot of questions on what needed to happen. We've talked to, to some of your fellow soldiers who say that uh, they believe that he walked off the base on his own volition. Is that what you think? Uh, yes, sir. I believe that he totally deserted not only uh, his fellow soldiers, but his leadership that wanted the best for him and the best for our country. Why do you believe that? Uh, just from the, the pre-actions that he has done that was come to my attention, as far as mailing off all his you know personal items that were as we call high, high dollar items, you know, i.e. computer, um, stuff like that. The way he talked to his fellow soldiers uh, as far as getting lost in the mountains or wanting to walk to India, stuff like that just makes me believe that he didn't want anything to do with us anymore. As the former squad leader, what was it like having a man walk away from the observation post, in your view, and, and disappear? That must have been very upsetting. Oh, it was very upsetting. Um, it's one of those things where I take, I took my job, you know, being in the military to the fullest and knowing that one of my soldiers walked off, it, it was more heartbreaking than anything. And it made me really sit down and think what's going on here.